Good morning. Hey, why do some Christians hold on backwards? What do I mean by that? Today we're in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 21. And it's not a long verse. Here's what it says. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. What about that plan? Test all things or prove all things. Hold on to what's good. We are to keep the subset of things that are true. There's a lot out there that's not true. We are to avoid things of darkness. And God is against those who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Romans 1 verse 18. And there's a lot of ways that truth, uh, things that are true get suppressed. A lot of times they're suppressed by, by humans. So, kind of a problem there. But we're going to go beyond it and above it because we have the scriptures to help us sort what is right and what is wrong. But we have to use the tools. If we don't use the tools, it's going to be, it's going to be a problem. Those who uphold error, a lot of them don't really quite realize that they're doing it. They just have bad ideas, ideas that they haven't really sorted through, and they think it's, and they think it's truth. And they're, and they're living by it, they're building by it, they're interacting with you and me by it. So why is this? Why would good people, or at least people who aren't maybe maliciously committed to evil, and that would be, I think, many people, why would they suppress the truth? Why would they uphold something that's wrong? And I think there's two reasons. One reason is that they, they're not really testing all things. Here's again the council, test all things. They're testing some things. And, you know, frankly, we're very busy. We just kind of sort of depend on others. Oh, this has been approved by this set of experts over here, so it must be okay. And we're trusting other people. But you know what? A lot of other people are very busy as well. And so we're relying on them, and they probably haven't tested it either. Have you ever got, got a book recommendation? You read on the back of the book, you know, and there's a blurb there by so-and-so, and he says, hey, this is a wonderful book. I have found out over a period of time that many times those kind of recommendations... The, people, the person hasn't read the book. Now, the other thing is that often the tests we've done have been poorly executed. We really haven't been careful or exacting in our test. We've just, in passing, we've just sort of looked at it and just said, okay, this must be good. And frankly, you know, we are very busy. So how can we test everything? And honestly, we can't really test everything. Here's where God's plan, God's beautiful plan, always comes in and fixes this. God wants us to test all things. We can't test everything. So how do we do it? We need to have our spiritual helpers, and that's where the congregation, the church that you're a part of, you need to be connected with them and they with you, and together, all the, all the church members combining our, our insight, our spiritual insight, our spiritual walk, together we can come a lot closer so that we're doing more of the testing all things, holding on to the good things, sorting out the bad things. So you need to have a church family. You need to have a church family. So you guys can all sort out what is true and, and be helped by each other and help others. Why not? And again, how do we test things? Well, it's this. It's the Bible. This is the acid test. So seek out others in your community who are level-headed and spiritual, have an experience with Jesus, and this text will be something you can live in. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your goodness to us. Watch over us individually, Lord. We, uh, we can be picked off very easily by the devils because we simply don't find a way to test everything. Help us to be careful, to give thought to things, to be resilient. Lord, help us to be suspicious in a godly way. Um, and then help us to look for others who have spiritual insight. And not just pastors or elders, but Lord, all different members in the congregation who have an experience with Jesus. And so, Lord, bless us in this way. Thank you for your help. Thank you for telling us how and giving us the tools how to test all things and hold on to the things that are true and that are good. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Here's your tool right here. This is it. Test all things. Here's your tester. God be with you today. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.